whatever. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I made a couple outsor uh, outsor outside gardens, and we'll probably continue to do that in the future. I was having this idea the other day of um, once the centralized symmetrical keep and castle and cat scratching on his post is ready. Um, I'll probably do an asymmetrical town around it where you have buildings that sort of erupt from underground and then have like a walled in sky facing gardens like these. So you have sort of agricultural families on the outside, but you know, but are still well, reasonably well protected, you know. Other than that, I'm not sure I've had any other ideas just yet, mostly because I haven't had a chance to think about it. Let's see, what do we have? We still need. We need this to freeze, and then I need to seal all this up. You notice I had to cut a corner out, and that was awkward. I didn't want to have to do that. It's going to forever blemish the symmetry of this place. Unless, of course, it doesn't. Oh, wait, I can't reach this one. I can, in fact, reach this one. This is so important. Symmetry is absolutely king. It's really incredibly important. Okay, so Cat's having his rocket hour. I have some... I have a need for more stone. I've delineated some rooms, but have not made any yet. I'll probably do that soon. I'll probably go on a spree of delineating uh, all kinds of things. But it occurred to me, I, man, cat. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, boom. See, I have the um, priority business going on here. I'm not sure how I turned it on exactly, but now that I have it, I have to learn how to use it in other applications. Someone was telling me just the other day that uh, you can do priorities on levers, which seems like a really, really good idea to me. Cat is going insane. It's his normal status. What do we got here? Donkey bone bolt. Well, hmm, I'm going to head off and think about what I want to accomplish. Did I already undo this one? You know, shush. We have migrants who do things like fishing. Do we want to let them fish? I think we might. Let's see. Dip, dip. I don't know. It, if, yeah. We'll let somebody fish because there's going to be fish here and food is kind of important. But I'd prefer he was like the only one, maybe two in the future. Otherwise, having a... Uh, entire population of fishers is just not, not any good. Come on, what's what's the what's what's the, what's 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 the delay? Let's get some plants while we're here. Come on, there we go. Move away from the edge. Okay, weaponsmith. This is this is good. Furnace operation and weapon smithing. Uh, open it all up, and don't require him to do much anything else though. Let's see. Architecture is fine. We'll leave her operating. Road building, don't care for that. Let's leave him out of the construction business. Construction removal, no. Cleaning, nah. I do want, I am glad though that people actually do clean these days. That used to be a huge problem. And I guess they're still just hanging out. Dudes, you guys have a place to go, don't you? Did I remove the place for them to go? I did remove the place for them to go, okay. How far can we make, take this thing? Uh, apparently that's the maximum size right there. All right, enjoy. There we go. Now I have to sort out who we got here. So I got another fisher guy. Do not fish, but you're allowed to do that kind of stuff. Farming, plant gathering, plant processing, milling, and farming, please. Looks like we have a medic of some kind. Who doesn't do anything? Oh, never mind. Healthcare. Diagnosis, surgery. Let's make let him do everything. And not require him to do much else, except... Uh, lever operation is fine. Cleaning. Is there anything else he should do? Fishing, farming, healthcare, hunting, mining, woodcraft. Let's give him a craft. Like, uh... Glass making. Except he'll be bored right now because I don't have any glass to work with. Uh, stone crafting and bone carving. Let's do that. 
And who have we got? We got a siege operator. He does way too many other things. Brewing. Tanning. Spinning. Spinning shearing. That that will work. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah. Engineering. Siege operating. Siege engineering. Available for some other jobs. Very good. Oh, a child's. We don't want a child's. Cook. You're, you cook things. That's probably not a bad way to go. Hello, cat. Another siege operator. Who hunts? Yes. Hunting is okay with me. Engineering. How about just pump operating? Jobs, lever operation, architecture, alchemy, engineering, and let's give him something else to do. Oh, a large group. Ugh. Uh, whenever a large group comes, it does kind of mess me up a little bit. Actual hunter. Interesting. Let's give you something else to do as well. Oh, actually, let's take a look at these guys. Let's see. Z. Description. There you go. <laughs> you can pause if you want. Uh, Z. Description. There you go. You can pause if you want. Description. Wow. This one's a little suspicious, actually. Hmm. Hmm. 57 years old. Greasy. Ooh. Likes limestone, sterling silver, ruby, grackle tooth. Do grackles have teeth? I don't think grackles have teeth. Uh, well, take a look at that one. I'm going to mark that one as um, fangs, just in case they are, in fact, actually a vampire. Uh, let's see. Who else have we got? You can look at the description of this one right here if you like. There you go. Pause. Very good. I'll, I'll read them on my own, but... The amount of time the, it, you have to invest into reading it out loud I sometimes feels sad at being separated from a loved one. So there you go. There's the big old description. And here's yet another large description. Is that the last of them? No. Here's one. Logum. There you go. Whee. Can't tell if that's one or not. That's a weaponsmith. Yes, he's new. Don't want mining. There you go. See, it was good to check. Oh. Of course, this does mean I am going ooh, to need these uh, these bedrooms now. Okay, bed statues. Not enough drinking from fruit. Blah blah blah. Rock doors. Very good. Start putting together some of these bedrooms. I smoothed based on. Mm, I forgot to uh, sort of colorize these things first. So now I'm going to have to place them in an intelligent way. But, you know, bedrooms, need them. They're going to get them. Now, the game crashed on me, not too long ago and I had to redo and I had to actually toss out a good minute long clip because it was no longer relevant and I s couldn't quite figure out what it was but I think maybe it might be this so we're gonna find out right now whether or not that's the case but since that overlaps with a tree I'm thinking maybe there it is there it is and it destroyed the tree that's interesting Let's try that again. But it didn't crash. So that's something. The tree, however, just disappeared. <laughs> okay. If you want to tear down a tree without actually having tree debris... Uh-oh. 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 It is winter. Oh, which means, how do I do priority 
Mm, there we go. Okay, I can just go up and down. All right, so priority one digging. This needs to go. This 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 whole slot needs to go and be replaced with things. And while we're at it, let's do the same down here. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. Priority one, fools. Get it done. Trying this section again. It crashed again. I still don't know why. Let's see. Come on! How are, how's everybody else? You? They're attending parties, so of course. What? What? Schedule. It is now Moonstone. If I remember correctly, it was still frozen in Obsidian as well, so I think maybe we have a good three months of Frozen Ocean to benefit from. Let's see. Do I need. Do I need to do anything related to. Get rid of that real quick. And put. Nah, I don't think we care. Let's just put in the stone and be done with it. Obsidian blocks, please. Then we can close it up and that will be done. I assume they're doing this now. Yep, somebody's busy. Have to be careful to get the walls in place as soon as possible. I had to put in my own stone here because for some reason the. Um, For some reason, it refused to do the work. Where it, 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 he cut this the he cut the stairwell and it disappeared. This one stayed though, which is a little strange. But I need to put stone in anyway, so we'll be doing that very soon. In fact, actually, I'm thinking it might be interesting to have an observatory. So I'm going to expand that out just a little bit. Meanwhile, they're filling in the gaps down here just fine. Excuse me. <sighs> Progress is slow and hair raising. The floor is coming in okay down here. Let's put in a wall before we run out of room or time that is. Obsidian and basalt, who cares? It's going to be underwater. I can make observatories from glass later when in later years when it has frozen over. But for now, gotta get the walls in. I'm even using wood up here for now just so that the waves don't crash in and over. Let's see, BCX. Put down a diorite block, put in floor so again it won't fall, you know, the, the mist won't go downstairs and mess everything up. Let's put in a wall here. <laughs> it's going to be close, I'm sure. I had exactly the right amount of obsidian blocks lying around to do the job. And it looks like I might actually do it. Yeah, look at him. RB, the RB, <laughs> the RB is mobilized, and people are actually like doing their job. Construct building, construct building. It's great. And there she blows a completely secure tower through the water, uh, except for mist on the top, which I'm already working on. And th this is all wood up here, but I can deal with it pretty much any point in the future now, whenever I like. The aqueduct is also good. And, you know, in case trolls try to swim in or something, they'll be blocked there. I They used to not be able to drown. Hopefully that's not going to be the case in the future, and I don't have any dark stone. But I don't need it for that. That that's Water's not going to get in there. So that's, that's a project complete. Oh, sort of. So I have one of my first statues, reasonably well made, and it's a schist statue. Do I have schist? Huh, I didn't think I had schist. <coughs> of Thob Rimcleared. Exceptional schist statue, Thob Rimcleared. The item is an exceptionally designed image of Thob, the dwarf in schist by Led Manam Sareb. Uh, Rimcleared is laboring. I relate to the settling of the dwarf Rimcleared in Sea City in the early... Autumn of 447. So, Thob is one of my guys, but so is Led. So, is there a reason why this he didn't make a statue of himself? So, Thob, I assume, is there more than one? We got Led here. I don't see any other Thobs. Hmm, Fangs. Oh, Fangs is out hunting. That's a good thing for him to be doing. Uh, Thob, let's see. Z, uh, Z, enter. 
I don't really want to know. Interesting. Within the last season, she was annoyed when caught in a snowstorm, annoyed when caught in rain, annoyed lack of chairs, satisfied at work, blissful after sleeping in a good bedroom, pleasure near a fine door, satisfied after receiving water, pleasure near own fine bed. Let's see. She's a citizen of the flag of blah. Ardent worshiper, blah, blah, blah. Kitchen. The Fallen Star of Dawn. <laughs> that's a pretty interesting... In uh, that's actually a really interesting deity. Doesn't seem to have any... Let's see. Relationships. Relationship with deities. Friend, Tulon. Led. Is merely on friendly terms with this person. Can I go to Led? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, let's see about Led. I finished up some work. I'm very dissatisfied. Satisfied at work, within the last season, annoyed, 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 pleasure at a fine door, lack of chairs was annoying, content, uh, content, content, after sleeping in a fantastic bedroom, satisfied after producing a masterwork, really? Oh, that was probably the statue. Content after sleeping in a great bedroom. Uh, let's see. Very short and fat. Primary making. I think we've talked to Led before. So, uh, no particular discernible reason why they made the statue that they made. But, you know, I have one, so that's good. After I caught somebody out <clears throat> on the ice hunting, I thought, man, I'd better, better keep them from doing this in the future. I probably should actually bring them in a little bit also, just in case the waves, like, drag them out to sea. That would be bad, but... It hasn't happened yet, so probably overall it's not that terrible. But in the meantime, I do need to make sure they don't step out on the ice for any reason, if at all possible. Looks like we have a... What, a Feymood? Yes, excellent. A Fisher Dwarf, though. What are they going to do? Ah, uh, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Turns out there are quite a few Gairai statues. Or not, sorry, quite a few statues, period. And I should probably take a look at all of them in a minute. All right, let's see. He's got logs, logs, and kiwi leather. Mm. I don't know. It'll probably end up being boring. But it's the first thing, you know, so it's okay if it doesn't uh, add up to much. Let's see about our statue. Actually, our statue's up here. Way the hell down here. Okay. Oh, there's still missing one. Probably the one that was abandoned by that guy just now. Ah. Egg. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. Are you just standing there? All right, let's take a look at a few of these. And that would be through... Uh, there we go. So here we have one of Lord Glenboulder, which is an interesting name. Finally crafted obsidian statue of Len, uh, Lord Glenboulder. <sighs> by lead again. Surrounded by the dwarves. That relates to the appointment of the dwarf Glenboulder to the position of... Militia Commander to the Sea Watch in the late winter of 447. So yeah, I did that. I can't remember why. Very very useful information, huh? Here's Thob, but this is that's Schist. That's a different one than before. Uh, probably the same thing though. Relates to the settling of the dwarf Thob Rim cleared in Sea City in 447. Snails. Image of two snails in basalt. <laughs> dwarves. Image of dwarves. Zahn, uh, image of Zahn, deity of generosity and sacrifice, depicted as a male dwarf in basalt by lead. He is laughing. Let's see what do we got here. Dwarf, is he doing anything interesting? No. And snapping turtle men, interesting. Wilgum Rakustquidist, Fisher Dwarf, has created Mkethril Death, a chestnut bracelet. So not terribly useful. Well, yeah, let's abandon the whole thing to ruin just because of that. Yeah, minimum. Chestnut bracelet. It means the just anguish. Interesting title. It is of the highest quality, encircled with bands of applewood. The object is adorned with hanging rings of kiwi leather. On the item is an image of emerald cut gems in chestnut. And there it is. The water just uh, thawed. And it's not going in. It's not going in even a little bit. So that was a successful thing. It looks like this will be slow to slow to go but hey it's progress looks like we've got <clears throat> elves again Let's see what we can do for them 
Hoo hoo hoo, fish. If it's in the barrel, it's no good. Wow, that's all we have for drinks? What was that again? Prickleberry, okay. Leather. Probably shouldn't like leather either, but they don't seem to mind. Gemstones, however, I'm sure they're quite thrilled with. That's okay. And we have little use for them other than to sell. Clay, stone blocks, lots of those. Don't want anything with wood. <clears throat> hmm, cages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do we have any uh, totems? Totem. No? Okay. Well, I don't have to do That's probably enough. Oh, and right behind them we have more people. Come on, come on. P, L. Thank you. Wood cutting. Go for carpentry as well. And how about on top of that, some wood crafting. Just so you're not completely. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> uh, Z. Here's the person. He's grouchy. There you go. Let's see. Potter Udib. There's his description. Or her. Sorry. She. <clears throat> there they go. Pause. Read as you like. My voice. What's going on? Let's see. Animal care is good. Potter. Glazing. Wax working. <clears throat> pottery. Clothes making. Weaving. Stuff that I will want in some, for some future point. We got a bone doctor. Healthcare, all good with me. Hmm, jewelry. Hmm, stoneworking. Masonry. Okay, how about them? Here they are. Also grouchy. Hopefully, it's not a long list of people. Number four and five. Here's, whoa. <clears throat> Yet another person who has been everywhere. Hmm. Dreams of mastering a skill. Sorry. Um, Shifty. That's your name because I'm not sure I believe you. And your skills are going to be cooking, pressing, beekeeping, milking, cheese making. And how about also pottery? No. Hmm, bone carving will do. How's this guy? I wish he, I would rather only get like a few at a time like this. Ranger. Yeah, no need to hunt. We've got enough fishing, fish cleaning stuff. And leather working. Okay, and you are grouchy and sad at being separated. Oh no. There's their description. Here's another. The problem is if I keep doing this and 30 people come, this is going to take a while. Beekeeper. Wow! Okay, you're good at everything. Holy good at everything. Why are you good at everything? That makes me nervous. Are you really? Uh, P L Wait, no, no, that's what I want to do. Z. Okay, there's their description. Saphir. And... General. Oh, so they're just a novice at pretty much everything. Talented beekeeper, though. Uh, adequate conversationalist, dabbling Fletcher. Let's go on to the next guy. Oh, he is suspicious after seeing a stranger sneaking around, afraid after experiencing trauma. He is horrified after seeing a bogeyman die. Within the last season, he didn't feel anything while in conflict. Your name is Safir Dal Zat Dai. That's an interesting name. Death is all around us. This is truly horrifying. Well, there's the rest of his description. I'm kind of curious myself. Anyways. And let's see, your novice mace dwarf. So you you have seen combat. I'd like to take advantage of that someday. Let's see. Whoa whoa whoa! Don't don't run off on me just yet. PL please farming. <clears throat> You're another beekeeper. Wow. These two are practically identical. They're the one. They're married to each other, aren't they? Not. Maybe they just have like. Interesting. 
Okay, okay, I'll let it go. Let's see who we've got here. Oh, stop coming, please. Hunting. I'm okay with hunting. As long as you also help out in some way, like uh, carpentry. <clears throat> Let's see. There's the description. Excuse me. 15 children? That's terrible. This person is single-handedly contributing to climate change. All right. And you, Mr. Tanner, you are... Butchering, butchering, dring, dring. Two. I don't really need this or this. Um, I would like you to be able to do one other thing. So let's say they're working. That's pretty good. And you have also 15 children. So you came with your own. You've been uh, everywhere. I wonder why some of these people are so many everywhere. Because this many vampires, I'm, I'm kind of thinking not. So let's see. Kills. <clears throat> one giant rattlesnake, one giant barn owl, two porcupine women, uh, one desert tortoise, blah, blah, blah. Nothing hugely significant. Relationships. Lots and lots and lots of relationships. Let's see. And I already gave you stuff to do, right? Okay. Gosh, they just keep coming. This is going to have to be the last clip for this episode. Farming... Gathering, processing, and milling, please. It's perfect well and farming. No other needs. In fact, actually, I'm going to let you off the hook with a lot of stuff. So you can focus on that more. Other jobs, leave operation. No, wor don't worry about those things. Actually, I should be taking more people off wall and for construction. Now, let's see. Who are you? Daughter of Zesit. So they... Probably one of the same family. Let's see. Fishing related? No, thank you. Jewelry's fine, though. As long as you also do mechanics and pump engineering. Let's see. Here's the description of uh, Eban Drilled Boot. Gosh. I'm glad I made more bedrooms, but they're already obsolete. Miller. Milling. Hmm. Milling. And brewing. Blah, blah, blah. That should do. Here's the description. Has three children. And otherwise is not suspicious. Oi. Please stop coming. <laughs> I don't want this many. You're going to be a, a mason. And here's your description, Mr. Mason. Are you? No, she. Mrs. Mason. Oh, God, I was hoping that was the last one. No need for fishing. We've got enough of that. Potash, blah, blah, blah. Butchery, let's say farming. And no need to haul anything except food. None of this stuff. Alchemy, <laughs> why not? Here's your description. Ms. Booth. Oh, friggin' out loud. I'm going to allow some fishing. But what else? Uh, what's farming, too. Farming is something I want them to pay more attention to. There's your description, Ms. Booth. You're another Ms. Oh, no. Edem. Married to Ms. Booth. Uh, Glassmaker. Something I definitely want, so let's let them continue to do that. Beekeeping, I don't care for. Cooking, fine, though. And uh, how about milking and cheese making? There's your description. Lots of children. Well, no, two children. Dubious worshipper of everything. Ah, crap. I am so... I did want this many... Cheese making and milking. Good link sharing spinning. Somebody who's animal related. And there's their description. Kills. The goblin. Interesting. Wait a minute. 449? Oh yes, time has passed. I forgot. Alright. 
back to the work. Where'd they go? Ah, here we go. This guy I haven't looked at yet. Fob the labor slip. All right, here he is. His description for your benefit and for my benefit. PL farmer dying. It's not very farming-ish, is it? Plant gathering, plant processing. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. I'll give him a craft as well, which would be. Okay, so please tell me that's the last of it. Gosh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. No, of course not. Oh my god, they keep coming! Stop! Sibrick, Captain Cobell. Sounds like he should have a uh, comedy show, he or she. Masonry is a good thing to be doing. In fact, um, I want you to keep doing that without putting any walls down. Now, <clears throat> he has this description. And let's see. Kivish Urge Axe. You're a fishing fool, but now instead you're going to farm and... Doctor of Nish. There's your description. Let's see. Crafts, hauling. Less hauling, more crafts. Let's also allow for. Because I don't have much. Let's, uh, let's, let's allow for a smithy. He is sad at being separated from a loved one. Well, why'd you come? Crowding out my place. Oh my god, they keep coming. Thob. They're all named Thob. Patterned trade. You are a beloved stone worker. That is good. Uh, engineering, no. Will allow for more dedication to their job. And there is her description. And they keep coming. Oh, hello, Saphir. Lens bolted. Mr. Glassmaker or Mrs. Glassmaker, whichever you may be, you are now going to be a mason. And I think that's good enough. Some generic folk are okay. Let's get your description real quickly. She is married to Nish. There you go. Who have we got here? Nish Clinch Attics. So this is the person who probably just came. I think we're done with hunting. Um, however, you are perfectly okay to yowl like a cat and do some of this stuff that I often neglect and actually let's do some of this as well and here is your description and you seem to be related to everybody in the universe and the list goes on we've themed Thob, Saphir yes uh, baby alpaca should go somewhere I'll deal with that later Nish Ek Gazendok Clinch Attics. Didn't I just deal with you, Clinch Attics? Yes, but what I wanted was customizable name. I think one of these guys slipped past me. Customized nickname. Uh, Shifty, we've got Fangs. Um, hmm. Batty? Bats. There we go, bats. I don't like things with the end with Y that much. <clears throat> we got a child who don't matter. We got a cat who's still yowling. Oh my gosh. Stop coming and stop yelling. <laughs> Actually, I think it's funny, but uh enter thoughts. Here's a description of the person who is here. Wow. I had quite a long description on that last part. Takes no pleasure in the talents and appearance, okay? But do you take pleasure in woodworking? Because you know, I could really use that. I'm going to also allow you to do furnace operating. I don't know why, but I often associate those two. Is that it? Oh, yes, yes, okay, okay. Um, and, and, and let's put that guy in his, um, uh, oh, already there. Let's trade and get rid of the, let's just get this over with and quit. Let's see. Oh, I need to actually trade. Trade? What have we got? Uh, what we have is a hard time reading. Oh, this the font doesn't reduce cleanly, probably because it's text based. I mean, uh, graphics based rather than whatever. 
Oh, okay, we don't care about much of this stuff. I'm curious about creatures. Creatures are always good. Arrows, don't care about... Why don't they make bolts? Kumquats. So they don't have any animals anyways? Citrons? What's a citron? A giant thrips. Can you eat a giant thrips? Ooh, it's expensive though. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Grown greaves are not so bad. I don't really need any of this junk. Wait, but we'll eat a, th a thrips. That's okay. Let me get rid of the less expensive gems first. See if that's enough. Mm, trade profit 30. All right, let's get rid of the ones that have a funny value, like 125. And bloop. Oh, fine. Bloop. Okay, good enough. Thanks for watching. Um, please come again next time.